Today we're back with an update on Texas Power Bars and mainly the new 29 millimeter from Texas Power Bars. I had this bar for a couple months. I did initial first impressions and unboxing video that when I first came in, they got a lot of views and got a lot of questions about it. So this is more of a two and a half month update. So let's dive right into it. Now, if you guys don't follow the Mass Knowledge podcast, and don't know anything about the history of Texas power bars. The Caps first started lifting weights in the late 60s and began powerlifting in the mid-70s. At the time, he was working for Image Barbell, building gym equipment. Around 1976, a local machine shop started making Olympic bars for them, calling it the Image Bar. In 1977, Image Barbell became champion barbell. It was then that Buddy started looking at the bars with an intent of changing them for the better. Fast forward to today, through all of Buddy's trials and tribulations... And crazy inventions, and he's now released the 29 millimeter Texas Power Bar. It's strong as a house with the best knurling, and it's maintenance free. Hundreds of state, national, international, and world powerlifting records have been and continue to be set and broken on the Texas Power Bar. To learn more about Texas Power Bars and buy one of their legendary bars, visit TexasPowerBars.com. We're back in the home gym talking about the 29 millimeter. Texas Power Bar. Now, the bar that I did the initial first impressions and unboxing video on was this black Cerakote. As I've stated in my previous other videos, I live here in Tennessee and we have a lot of heat and humidity throughout the summer and all year round, actually. But in this climate, in a garage, any, any Bear Steel Bar, whether it's Texas Power Bar or any other brand, even some of my, even some of my stainless steel bars will tend to rust in Tennessee. So I always recommend having something on hand like the Barbell Rescue Brush, but we'll get into that later. I got this bar in Cerakote to help with the corrosion resistance. Texas Power Bars currently does not offer a stainless steel version. They offer bare steel, black oxide, and Cerakote versions. And I got this one in the Cerakote. I mean, the specs of the bar, it's your traditional powerlifting specs. This one is a 29 millimeter bar. It has the single powerlifting ring marks and a center knurling. Now this center knurling is five inches where the traditional Texas power bar 28 millimeter is only about four inches. So you got a one extra inch here. One, one extra can make a difference. Make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder. These go to 11. It's still your traditional 86 inch length from end to end, from end of the collar to end of the collar. But these do have the inch and a quarter sleeves, which is thinner than previous versions, where these other ones are right about two inch. On any rack, your plates are gonna be closer in. Now this, this is a rogue rack, so it's gonna be 49 inches to 49 inches outside. And then if you're using specialty J cups, like a sandwich J cup or a roller J cup, you may have a little play. Like I even turn mine inside so that the outside doesn't rub against. But just be aware that when you get the 29 millimeter, your plates are gonna be closer to the actual upright, whether you have a 49 inch rack or a 47 or some of the other ones you may have out there on the market. So probably the three biggest things that set this thing apart from the traditional, the traditional Texas power bar are gonna be the center knurling, which is about one inch longer than the traditional four inch knurling on the regular 28, 28 and a half millimeter. They have thinner sleeves, so collars on the sleeve. So these are only about an inch and a quarter where the traditional was about two inches. And then also this knurling is quite a bit, quite a bit sharper than any of the other Texas Power Bar knurlings I have. They're all fairly sharp, but this one, even in Cerakote, I'm going to say it's about a, it, to me, it feels like about an 18 TPI which means how many mountain peaks or volcano peaks. All these are about volcano type knurling, which means it's a hill or mountain with the very tip cut off. So it gives you that good feel, good grippy feel without being overly sharp or painful. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still very aggressive. So this is the by far the most aggressive bar of the Texas Power Bars in my opinion. I even have a deadlift bar down here. These are packed a little bit tighter and it's very aggressive, but this new 29 millimeter is more aggressive in my opinion than any of these other bars or any of the other bars that I currently have. And like I said, this is the Cerakote version. 
also love on the Cerakote version how they include the colored end caps. So like mine are red and black. So they have a red and black ring on the inside of the on the inside of the end cap. So if you have orange, blue, one of the other colors, you may be able to get those too. In the Cerakote version, I believe the only color options available currently are the red, black, and blue Cerakote. They do offer other colors of Cerakote in their other bars. So that may be something that's coming down the road or you guys may be able to request or suggest. What I do love is they put a colored ring on the end cap. So if you like mine are red and black Cerakote. So when you look at the end cap ring, you'll see that there's a red ring and a black ring around the Texas Power Bar logo, which is just a nice touch. It's not something you have to do, but I like it. I'm glad that they include it. So that's one little tidbit that if you guys aren't aware of, that might be one reason, something you might want to get a colored version, especially if you're in one of those high humidity or a lot of oxidation areas. But let me flip flop them here for you and get you even, I'll get you some close-ups of these too. I'll get you, I'll get you some close-ups and some macro shots of the knurling so you can see that volcano style knurling I'm talking about. But this one is bare steel. I just wanted to see actually how much sharper it is with no coating. And as you can see, it's already started to patina. Like I said, in Tennessee, I have to oil any of, pretty much any of my bars, but especially my bare steel bars, they need a lot of attention, no matter what manufacturer you go with. So this one, you can already see it's starting to patina. So I have oiled it and then I use my barbell rescue brush probably every couple weeks to get a really good cleaning because if not, it's going to patina no matter what you do, but it'll have rust on it very easily. So just be aware of that if you're in a humid climate or you have a lot of humidity in your area, or anywhere near water like Florida, East Coast, West Coast, where there's beach or water around, salt water, be very aware of that because you're going to have to clean it a lot more. But this is definitely the best feeling, most aggressive of all of them. The issue is at play. If you're in a controlled environment or you have a basement or you know, air conditioned facility, um, this thing is probably gonna be awesome for you. But it's very sharp and it feels so good that I don't even mind that it is bare steel. The upkeep is not really bothering me that much, but it's something if you're not if you're not willing to put the work in, I wouldn't go with this one. I would go with the, the Cerakote or the black zinc. I don't have the black zinc, so I'm guessing that's coating is gonna be somewhere in between the bare steel and the Cerakote but there's not much difference in even when I, i'll show you that and you'll get a picture of the knurling up close there's not much difference in the two knurlings even though it is coated they're still very sharp so i know some other guys out there that have had, had problems with cerakote in the past or just texas power bars being inconsistent knurling seems like the last couple of years they have done really well with the knurling is very consistent and the new 29 millimeters are even sharper. So it seems like if you start with a very sharp knurling, no matter what coating you put on it, it's still going to be a really good knurling. So I think that's what they've done here. They may have updated. I don't know this for sure, but I heard, I have heard they've been ramping up their production and facilities. So they may have got some newer equipment that cuts knurling better than it has in the past. You know, the traditional buddy caps knurling is well known, but it's also, Looks like it's been updated just a tad. So you still get that same feel, same aggressive feel. You get a lot of grip and it takes chalk very well on all these bars. So how has the Cerakote held up on the other bars? These I've had for a couple years. These I've only had for two months. The deadlift bar is Cerakote and it's shown the most wear. This is the deadlift bar and it's longer. The other ones are 80, 86 inches. Uh, this one was about 92 and a half. So it's, you basically just have longer sleeves with a thinner diameter. And then this one has, this is the, one of the ones with no center knurling at all because it's, it's designed for conventional deadlifts. So you still have your powerlifting ring marks. And this is, like I said, this is more of a tighter knurling before. So this knurling is probably closer to like a 20, a 20 volcano, but it's still very sharp and aggressive. And then you still have the two inch sleeves and then the smooth portion out here by the collars for your band work and things like that. If you choose to use bands, you get a wide selection here, but that's where mine has seen the most wear uh, from either bands or from using a, using a single deadlift jack. You can see there's black marks and things there, but uh, if you scrub it really hard, it may be able to wipe that off, but affecting the Cerakote, the Cerakote still looks pretty good overall. Uh, even same thing with my 28 and a half millimeter. 
it's the same same thing with my red Cerakote 28 and a half millimeter. It's, it has a center knurling, but it's that four inch center knurling. And then the knurling goes all the way out pretty much to the sleeves on this one. Um, the Cerakote has held up really well on this one. I use this for a lot of rows and things like that or anything where I'm doing deadlifts with a straight bar. I want something that's a little bit, just a little tad bit thinner, but I use it for rows and things like that or things with high volume work. Also, I like it. I like also benching with this one sometimes. So sometimes different depends on what you're into, what you like. But I like to have different variations and different versions. So that's kind of uh, the overall on these Texas Power Bars. They all hold up well. I'm really impressed with the 29 millimeter. I really like it. I would recommend you get it. The bare steel comes in at about $315, which is I don't think you can get a better bar on the market for that. And they have ran some sales. Like I said, I picked mine up in the 4th of July sale. And then they have run some uh, previous ones where they're, fr they're offering free shipping on free shipping on other holidays. Like I think Labor Day, they had a, a, a free shipping. So check, they're always running deals. So check those out. So right now, this Texas Power Bar 29 millimeter is, is my favorite bar in my rotation. It's getting a lot of use, whether it is the Cerakote version or the bare steel version. Will I keep them both? I don't know. Time will tell. But for me, it's really hard to find a better bar made in the USA for this, this bare steel bar if you don't have any of those humidity issues for $315. And then they have ransom sales. So $370, I think, on this Cerakote version. But either version you go with, and I think the uh, the black zinc is right in there about $10, $10 more. And then on all my Texas Power Bars, I always get the chrome sleeves because they offer bare. But for the same price, you get chrome. So we'll just why not get chrome? Why not get the, the hard chrome sleeves? So that's how I, all mine are hard chrome. That does help with the corrosion around here. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Drop them down in the comments. But this is a review of my Texas Power Bar 29 millimeter. I really enjoy it. I thought I would when I got the first impression. But after getting to use it for two and a half months, I don't think you can really get a better bar for the price. It's made in the USA, American Steel, the Buddy Caps history. So check it out. Hope you guys like it. Check out all the affiliate links down in the description. Not affiliated with Texas Power Bars. Uh, it's just a bar I like and I've enjoyed using. So if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if it's helpful to you or your friends. Thanks for watching and go lift. Bye, pals. Baby. Neuroporn. Now for some more macro shots of nerdy. The sun's coming up, sneaking out here to take out the trash, if you know what I'm saying, before the family wakes up. Or are we just trying to get rid of the barbell tubes before the wives and the kids see it? <laughs>